Law School Secret Series 9, Crimes Against the Person Part 2, Criminal Law. Welcome, so glad you're here. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment in the box below. As always, I adhere to Gandhi's philosophy, being the change in the world you wish to see. Here I've written some, a quick message regarding studying law. If you want to pause the video, you can read it. Right now, today, we're just going to go over um, the a small homicide review. Now here's the outer outline and the crimes classifications. I have covered uh, so far in the criminal law portion of this series the elements of a crime, all these different areas, and there are separate videos detailing this. I've put in cases, and I'm up to this portion homicide. So if, um, if you want to backtrack, if there's something that's not clear, you can go look at those. Now, what are the elements of murder? What's homicide? Well, homicide can be defined as the killing of a human being by another human being. Here is a, a bronze statue, I believe, from uh, the G National Gallery of Denmark. It's a photograph of it. And this is Cain killing his brother Abel. It's an old uh, story that might be based on truth about sibling rivalry gone wrong. And um, over here in the Middle Ages, there's a, a woodcut uh, and painting that was put in uh, a leaflet. And this is a photograph of it. And it's also of a, a murder. So... The elements of a murder um, are basically almost exactly the same as the elements of a crime. And I have earlier videos on that if you want to review it in more detail because I actually break down um, the exceptions, you know, omission, different things like that. Um, I discuss concurrence, how you have to have con concurrence of mens rea, acts of rea. But I detail, you know, with the case examples and things like that. And always you can put something below to ask me to elaborate on it, and I certainly will. But anyhow, so you have the basic elements of the crime there. And then you have, um, at common law, you've got the year and a day rule. And basically that is the death must have occurred within a year and a day at common law. And again, definitions of these types of crimes, including the homicide and the murder, are going to vary during, according to jurisdiction. And um, at common law, Bridget McCormick, who uh, has the interactive CDs and audios, um, I'm not paid by her or um, these interactive videos, but I put it down here because I actually have a CD player in my car and I also have other devices and I listen to this and other audios while I'm driving. Uh, maybe I can make podcasts too, um, but anyhow, it's good to, you know, write things, see them, and um, hear them. So you really get it in your, in your mind. But um, taking notes and writing is a good way to remember as well. Now, so Bridget McCormick says that uh, the killing of a human being by another human being with malice aforethought. Of course, I don't just rely on one source. I use many sources to make sure I understand. So homicide, according to Singer and LaFond, or murder at common law, homicide is the unjustified and unexcused killing of a human being. Now, this is from a book... Um, called Examples and Explanations of Criminal Law. It's cited in the back in the references. I happen to have had to get it for my Master of Arts degree, so it came in handy when I went to law school and took the class as something to fall back on and also reference because it kind of, it's not like a horn book. It just, it gives you exercises um, 
to do and then there's answers in the back and um, it's by Aspen Publishers but anyhow their definition is slightly different than what she's saying but so there's a little bit of semantics going on and um, many states have moved away from using the word or the description as malice aforethought and they substitute other terms for the defendant's intent or state of mind. Whatever you do, just make an outline, memorize a general idea that means the same thing. And um, if you have to make an essay and show your work, because a lot of professors and um, they want you to show your work. So just it depends on your circumstances. Now, in the 19th century in the United States, uh, most jurisdictions had two umbrella categories of homicide, which were murder or manslaughter. Now remember, two kinds of manslaughter, there's voluntary, which is often characterized as like heat of passion killing, or it can be, um, uh, yeah, it's usually that way. Or it can be involuntary manslaughter, which is unintentional and often done recklessly or negligently, just, you know. And then um, another type is... Um, some some states use the code and they use vehicular manslaughter and that would be involuntary manslaughter but they describe it as vehicular manslaughter in their code and so that's the way it's referred it's the same thing as involuntary manslaughter but it's just rephrased according to that statute another thing is MPC remember the model penal code I've gone across and reviewed MPC and the basic elements of MPC in a crime in uh, and you can look that up yourself I've done it in earlier videos which you can uh, refer back to but basically their um, their um, um, involuntary manslaughter would be called negligent homicide or another phrase um, you just have to look at MPC. Okay, so then further, it's divided into first degree, which is a premeditated deliberate murder or some murders in the commission of felonies would be first degree murder. And then there is second degree murder. Second degree murder is all murders that don't fall in the first degree. Now, there's four types of murder. There's the intentional murder, the intent to cause serious bodily harm, the depraved heart murder, and the felony murder rule. The felony murder rule has two uh, categories. It must have been committed during a felony or attempted felony, and the death must have resulted from the commission of the, uh, the felony or the attempted felony. Now, this is going to be continued. This is just a quick synopsis. I want to uh, let you know that I really appreciate you uh, stopping by, and I want to thank you, and please like, share, and subscribe. More to come. I'm probably going to elaborate a little bit more on homicide. Uh, it'll be part two, uh, or part three, excuse me. Thanks, and have a great day.